Hey Dennis, today we have just a classic unboxing from Lignetti, and this is from their new line of made to order, not necessarily made to measure sweaters, but what they're doing is letting you pick all of the options so you can choose the fabric, then you choose the style, then you choose the size, and then you can choose, so you can go from, you know, you want this color fabric, you want cashmere or wool, then you can choose if you want a turtleneck, a cardigan, a crew neck, and then you can also do, and this is important, medium, you know, small, XL, and the different sizes. But then you can also do tall sizes, which is very nice. So we have two sweaters here from the new collection, and these are all like Lignetti's other products. These are all heritage wool and cashmere sources, all made in Italy. And I grabbed what I wanted to be like a very Mr. Rogers sweater here in their cashmere. I had a sweater just like this from Bonobos a few years ago and it got eaten by bugs and so I got a purple one. And so these come in at about $255 depending on the style that you choose. I think the, the turtleneck's a little bit more, the cashmere's a little bit more, but you're looking at about $250. And I wanna compare these to a, uh, you know, something like a $50 budget merino wool sweater that I just covered uh, a few weeks ago and talk about what you're getting and the difference between these. And number one is going to be the raw fabrics that are used, but also the ordering process and being able to choose, customize, and all that stuff. So actually, let's just get the cashmere on here. And immediately I can feel that the cashmere, uh, one of my points of reference is either the Everlane cashmere or the, I think it's pronounced Nottam cashmere. And I have both of those sweaters and I really like them. But in order to get that price point, you have to go down to a certain grade of cashmere. Could still be A grade, but there's a thickness to it. And I can feel in this one that it has the fineness and the warmness of the other cashmeres, but there's a little bit more heft to it than something like a $100 cashmere which is what you're getting on there. So this is a good example of if you wanted this color, this like wine red, it's a little bit lighter than what I'm seeing in the video. You could, instead of getting in a cardigan, you could get it in a V-neck or a crew neck or a turtleneck and then choose your sizing from there and they're all made to order and it'll take you know a few weeks to get out to you, which is pretty nice. And I have measurements for Lignetti. I have a suit from them. I have one of my favorite dress shirts is a Lignetti dress shirt and so they, they do have that. I'd be interested to see if they'll open that up to doing like true made to measure stuff. But from the medium, like making sure it fits, obviously the sleeves look pretty good. I want the shoulder sleeve to be right at the bone, which I got right here, and then around the torso. And I actually didn't go with a long on this. Uh, for me, I'm, I am 6'4", but most of my height is in my legs, so I can usually get by with a standard length. If you find that, you know, if you get a sweater, if you get sweaters and they're too short, or if you get other products and they're too short, uh, you can order the long, which is nice. So like for me, a nice length on the sweater is right about there. You want it slightly below the waistline, not too low, not too high, so I'm pretty pleased with that one. And then if you do a cardigan, I, it's, I, I treat it like a vest. You know, if you were to wear a vest, you wouldn't button the bottom one. I pretty much always leave the bottom one. But I like the look, yeah. This is nice. So, you know, this is the benefit. If you want a sweater that's going to fit well, you don't want something that's too tight because you do want to be able to layer and you're usually going to wear a dress shirt underneath it. But if you find that you can order like a small, but you need a longer length to get that perfect no slimness. It, they call it Italian tailoring, so their mediums are gonna be a little bit more tailored on here, but if you need to size up and then make it a little bit shorter. All right, let's get the purple one on, get a couple of try-on shots. The purple one is the wool. I wanted to be able to feel the cashmere and the wool, and then we'll talk about the $50 wool sweater in a second. All right, I brightened up the camera a little bit because I wanted it to look more like it does in real life, and it's it's nice. It's like a, it's like a brighter wine, uh, not like a deep burgundy, but I'm really into the color on this. Very soft, feels great. Nice mother of pearl buttons on there. And that's the stuff that you get when you pay the premium for this Italian made stuff. I don't know what it is, I just love purple. But this is a really good example. If you want this purple in a crew neck, you order it that way. And to talk about this at 255 versus the sweater I talked about before at the tie bar at $50, it is a little bit of sticker shock when you go from you know, a $50 sweater to a $255 sweater, but it reminds me a lot of when I went from like the J. Crew Merino wool sweaters into a Ralph Lauren 
uh, sweater several years ago, and you can feel the difference in the quality. You can you can absolutely feel it in the construction rigidity of the ribbing around here. Much more sturdy. You can feel that it's not going to uh, wear out in the elastic, and that's indicative of a higher higher quality sweater build. And same thing with the wool. I have been very careful with this uh, sweater so far. And it's like you get what you pay for to $50 sweater, but this one reminds me a lot more of the more fine, more durable merino wool sweaters from somebody like a Ralph Lauren, which is why you have that price jump. And it's the matter of, you know, you could buy a new $50 sweater every year, or you could go with one that should last longer uh, in the long run. And then also for the fit, it's nice to be able to choose uh, you know, with the tie bar ones, I think they only have crew necks at least when they launched. Uh, it's nice to be able to choose between those. And so if you're looking for that next jump in quality from, you know, I think Bonobo sweaters are usually around $100, $150. If you're looking for that type of thing, but a little bit nicer, that's where Lignetti really comes in. Lignetti is really positioning themselves as the more uh, premium tier in the made to measure space. When I, f when I first tried them out a few years ago, I think the suit that I got was about five or $600. And that's where a lot of players are really in, but ever since they've now introduced, they introduced higher quality wools and more heritage wools, and so they've seemed to really position themselves in that higher tier. The same way that you have the difference in a $50 or a $60 merino wool sweater into a $250 one, the same thing you can feel in the cashmere here. And it is really nice that you can choose the custom options between those. And it is a really nice option that you can kind of custom make made to order on the sweaters there. It's a very interesting play from Lignetti. And I'm interested to see what they bring next because I have one of their polos. I like their polos. Uh, so far, the things that I've ordered from them, the only thing I didn't really wasn't crazy about was I ordered their trousers, but I think it's because I need to update my, my fit on those. Uh, but I keep going back to them to try new things out. But Lignetti is absolutely worth looking at if you want that Italian heritage, tailoring, quality, all the aspects of it without going you know, full on into the luxury space. This is that direct to consumer model. If you're in Europe, they have uh, places you can go and get measured and everything, but I've done everything online so far. Been pretty happy with it. They also have tailoring credits uh, as part of, you know, I got my polo tailored by them, which was really nice. And you know, they refund you for that sort of stuff. And so Lignetti is interesting. It's definitely worth keeping an eye on. And I know you guys are, are buying from them because you guys send me some great feedback on your end as well. And as always, if you let me know down in the comments more videos, topics, all that sort of stuff. As always, you guys have the best feedback. Also, over at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Based on my spoke video last week, I know that you guys don't like my slim skinny pants, but hey, it gotta be a little bit controversial, I guess. And as always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Mm -hmm.